one of the most important characteristics of a diamond is its color. In this video, we will be talking about white diamonds as opposed to fancy color diamonds, which can be red, blue, or pink, and can be incredibly expensive. In white diamonds, less color makes the diamond more rare and therefore more valuable. The universally used color grading scale starts with the grade of D and goes all the way down to Z. D through F, or colorless diamonds, show the least color and are by far the most costly diamonds. G through J colored diamonds comprise the near colorless category. These diamonds can be quite beautiful, and as we will see shortly, it is often difficult to see the difference between a colorless and a near colorless diamond. Consequently, near colorless diamonds are very popular and considerably less expensive than colorless diamonds. K, L, and M color diamonds fall into the faint yellow range. Although you can definitely start seeing a tinge of yellow in these stones, they can still be very pretty. They will look great set in yellow gold and can be purchased at bargain prices. From left to right, we have a 70-point D color diamond, a 73-point G color, and a 1.04 carat L color diamond. The diamonds are under an LED diamond lamp and up against a white background. Even under these ideal conditions, it is very difficult to see a difference between the D and G colors. You can start to see a hint of yellow in the L color. If you have a hard time seeing the difference between the D and G in this controlled environment, imagine how hard it will be to see a difference in color when the diamonds are set in a ring in normal light. The diamonds are now faced downward on their tables. This is how color is graded in a laboratory. When diamonds are right side up, their brilliance, dispersion, and scintillation can mask their body color. When the diamonds are face down, you get a much truer look at its color. Now you can see a slight difference between the D and G, and a noticeable difference between these two diamonds and the L. There are many factors to consider when deciding what color diamond to purchase for your engagement ring. The size and shape of the diamond, the style of the ring, the color metal that the, that the ring is going to be, does the ring have side diamonds, and of course your budget. Doing research on diamond color is great. Watching videos like this can also be quite helpful. But ultimately, the best way to determine what color diamond to purchase is by looking at several live diamonds in person. And that's where Spiegel & Son comes in. When you come to my office, I will slowly walk you through the process of selecting the perfect diamond for your loved one. The process will be fun, it will be as painless as possible, and always in a pressure-free environment. Please call Spiegel & Son today for an appointment. I look forward to working with you. If you have any other questions regarding any other aspect of jewelry, please get them over to me. I would love to answer them in my video blog. This is Stuart Spiegel for Spiegel & Son Jewelers.